What's going on, everybody? So I'm going to be pushing up my second account today, and I have decided that I'm going to be doing something a little bit different um, than I usually do, and I'm going to be playing Ice Bowl on this account right here, the second one, because it's, I mean, I don't have uh, any other decks leveled up anyways. So I'm going to be playing Ice Bowl on this account in season, and I'm going to be playing a Fire Bow on my other account. And, you know, we're going to see what happens. You know, maybe it's going to screw up my finish a little bit on my main account, but you know what? It's all for fun anyways, and I kind of want to do this as a, uh, I guess, an experiment so I can actually see if Firebow can potentially be, be played on top ladder. Like, when's the, have you ever seen Wizard Expo on top ladder, bro, like, in season? It, it just doesn't happen, right? So, I just want to try it out and see what happens for one season. It'll be fun either way. Um, I should get, you know, my goal, basically, I'm going to be honest here and say my goal with the Firebow account, I just want to get, like, top 100. I'd be happy because that's tough, you know, that's tough. Um, and then, with obviously, I'll push this account as high as I physically can, like, I always do at the end of the season with uh, Ice Bow. So yeah, that's my goal for the end season. There's like a week left right now when I'm recording this, like eight days. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I guess I'd let you guys know. I'm probably gonna make a poll or something that uh, just has Ice Bow or Fire Bow. Like which one do you think I'm gonna finish higher with? Which I, you know, I could guess what the responses are gonna be, but I'm just gonna go Evo Tesla up high. He's kind of playing well right now, out cycling my Tesla and Tornado because I haven't really been paying attention to my cycle. I've just been yapping. That's just average Hunter CR uh, gameplay. So nice. We're going to go for the or get, get the one Ice Wiz hits on tower. Man, I saw a couple clips of the Ice Wiz buff and dude, I'm actually pretty hyped. Um, and you know, I don't get I don't get that. You know, I'm not going to overhype anything. Um, but I do think the Ice Wizard is going to be a million times better against any kind of splashy cards. So I'm pretty or like swarmy cards, I guess. So I'm pretty excited for that. Going to go for the log right here. He most likely will firecracker again. Um, so I'm just going to Ice Wiz like this. Probably going to firecracker yeah no he's gonna hog interesting um if i were him i probably would have firecrackered and three card cycled back to another one right there but i mean he's still gonna technically do that um he's probably gonna go for another hog at the bridge oh my gosh that three card cycle is crazy we'll just go skellies activate our king tower and then go for the wall plus ice was on top of the evo cracker i did have to overspend quite a lot and i already had king tower activated i just meant like pull the pull the hog to the king tower you guys know what i mean um i do need to block this firecracker this is getting a little bit awkward because my cycle is very messed up Gonna go for the Tesla like this late. Huh. And then I can log. He does pop the ability. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe that's good for him. I'm not sure. Um, he's gonna go for the hog like that. I can just tornado to kill the firecracker. And then I need to go for the ice wizard early. Go for my... Do I need the skellies? No, I think ice was... I'm gonna go skellies just in case. But I think ice was would have handled that with the help of the king tower in the other tower. But yeah, I think I'm good here. I mean, if I mess up this matchup, then I don't deserve to uh, win it anyways. But so far, I haven't made any mistakes. He's playing very well, though. So I'm just gonna go for the log plus Evo Tesla. Should clean up all of this. Nice. We also hit that Evo Firecracker. That's gonna be very nice for me because now I'm not gonna have to worry about that Evo Firecracker in cycle anymore. So that's decent. I might just go for the... Hmm... Skeletons. Yeah, okay. He is gonna hog. I don't think I need to even defend this. That's nice. Oh, bad night, bro. I thought, mm, I don't know. I second guess myself, which is something you should never do when you are playing ice, but you've got to just trust your ability to play the game. I'm going to rocket that firecracker because I do believe I'm up a couple of, uh, you know, I've got a decent, decent bit of an elixir lead. So Tesla in the middle, he's probably going to hog. Yep. Nice prediction with that skeletons. And then ice was like this. Um, right. So I think, I believe that counters that, right? Does it not? No, I don't think it does. I, I can't tell, bro. <sighs> Please don't hit. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Dude, I always panic uh, when the hog rider is so close to my tower, but we're good. At least he didn't have an EN77 hog rider right there. So I'm just going to go for the Tesla up high, um, and that's going to kill the Mighty Miner eventually. No, he is going to Earthquake. That's the first time all game he's Earthquaked my Tesla, um, just being in the middle of the map. I'm just going to go Ice Wizard, then I need to just rocket this hog. Kind of an awkward cycle. I don't want to burn another card than trying to tornado late and potentially lose and... and uh, mess up and lose the game is what i'm trying to say so we'll just go for the log and then i can just go ahead and evolution tesla to kill both of those which is really nice get a little two for one special um <laughs> that's gonna kill the hog as well i don't need to do anything right so i'm just gonna go night in the, uh, in the middle of the map 40 seconds left i am gonna take the rocket on the firecracker just switch lanes it doesn't really matter too much um as long as i'm getting my damage so we're gonna go for the tesla like this he probably will firecracker again i'm just gonna go ahead and log at this firecracker and then skelly's up high he's gonna cycle back to another knight uh not knight um hog rider wow i can't speak and then i'll just test that in the middle once again huh 28 seconds i mean this is close he, he is actually playing this really well he's gonna hog once again here i just need to go for the skeletons to predict it and then he's gonna hog now so i'm just gonna rock it then i'm back to my tornado which is perfect go ahead and grab that uh hog rider and pull it to king and then 15 seconds left yeah this was pretty much a flawless basic i know this actually is very helpful for a lot of people that's why i leave a lot of hog games in my videos because people tell me all the time they don't know how to beat hog eq and this is exactly it did i, did I go for a single offensive expo no but like that's literally how you have to play this matchup um and so it's, it's probably 
one of the few in this meta that you literally can't do anything on offense. Um, I mean, I can if he overcommits really, really bad, but the chances of that happening are pretty slim. So yeah, I take that decent win and, uh, you know, good start to the video. Okay, match number two here against Artemisa. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but it's a cool name. I like his name. Gonna go Skelly to the bridge. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling very nice and positive today, not toxic at all. I, <laughs> yesterday, I was feeling a little bit toxic. If you didn't notice in my video, I was probably, uh, you know, uh, roasting a little more than than um i usually do so just gonna ice fist in the back and probably just set up a tesla i don't know if he has fireball or void he, uh, a lot of people are playing fireball which is actually kind of frustrating for me because i don't have a great response to the um like oh, he's got lightning oh no oh he missed bro what okay number one why does he have lightning that makes this a 100 0 matchup for him um but he just lost because he just missed the lightning obviously even if he would have hit that lightning i still think he might have lost the game but uh i honestly don't know what just happened this is like top 100 ladder and people are playing like that i, I don't even have words in the tornado this but we're gonna keep it positive here today and end the on the channel bro positive energy only right guys <laughs> so i'm gonna go knight down low for the queen he's obviously going to pop the ability i can just go ahead and drop my log on top of that then skeletons on top of the ghost perfectly timed please or i'm bad no i'm goaded at this game let's go um perfect micros right there i mean i did did take some queen damage but i didn't take any ghost damage so you know what you gotta take some damage to uh prevent some damage sometimes that's i don't even know what i'm talking about i'm just yapping gonna go probably tesla in the middle once again now that we know he has lightning i need to make sure that i'm always cycling tesla early um and getting back to uh, around to either another tesla or just tornadoing back the rg so it doesn't get damage on his pushes um it's gonna be pretty obvious when they go for lightning especially like in this matchup if you are the rg player not to uh you know <laughs> hopefully there's no rg players watching this that are going to cook me using this tip but like you literally all you have to do is be patient with your lightnings because uh i don't have enough you know uh, if he just waits till double lakeser to play his lightning i'm never going to break through um and i'm pretty much going to be stuck defending the whole game if he plays correct offense so that's what you know you should just play defense uh, not defense just like passive as an rg player in single in my opinion in in this matchup if you are going against ice bow but i'm just gonna go for the evo tesla in the middle he's gonna let the entire tower go um not sure exactly what's going on i guess maybe he just is he, is he gonna give up like i wouldn't blame him he kind of had a rough start to the game it happens bro it happens um yeah i think he hasn't played anything in about like seven and a half days so he's probably gonna give up i don't know rg lightning i haven't seen lightning in a long time in rg decks and i'm really really hoping that it doesn't come back because that's going to be basically impossible for me to win this is definitely one of those rare occasions where um you know you just mess up at the beginning and it cost you for the entire rest of the game so cannoneer as well i'm not sure if i agree with cannoneer in rg decks it just feels a little clunky um especially when you don't have a super high dps unit i mean you, he does have the archer queen but like really i don't know how is he going to defend against you know any kind of like giant graveyard or recruits deck that's my question but you know we'll take that easy win right there number two and we're kind of cooking to start this video Oh yeah, random thought that just popped into my head right now. I was uh, I was reading the comments the other day on one of my videos, and I believe it was my Fireball video, and somebody commented, I can't remember who commented it, but they sent a link, and they uh, showed me that Artube was playing Fireball on his channel, and he's like, you know, I think uh, he's a Brazilian YouTuber, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Artube, I'm pretty sure he's Brazilian. I, I clicked on the video and watched it, and I couldn't understand anything, but it was so, it was like really fun to just watch him play Fireball, because like, nobody plays Fireball, bro. It's like a, a it's just a fun deck you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna ice was that should kill the wall hello wait you're telling me an ice was plus skellies doesn't kill a wall breaker oh that's actually kind of a scam i'm not gonna lie i believe it does if i just got it down quicker maybe i don't know um dang that sucks that's actually a really bad start because this matchup mega knight bait you do not want to take any damage in single um obvious for obvious reasons so we do get one knight hit on tower i'll definitely take that um right so i'm gonna tornado actually no i'm just gonna let that go and then i can go for the log on this right hand lane for the skelly barrel then i can just tornado this late i think that was good either way i could have tornado like i did the same defense either way um so it didn't really matter too much i'm gonna go ahead and drop my knight all the way in the back skellies plus ice was on top of this this surely kills there's no way there's no way there's no way that connects no 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 no, bro no i'm gonna get pissed bro i'm going to get pissed there's no way a two elixir wall breaker gets through ice wizard slowing it down and skeletons on top of it immediately that is crazy um wow okay well that pissed me off i can't lie now we're in a pretty bad situation as well he's got the drill evolution coming up next i have to burn my evil tesla for the skeleton barrel which does suck um and obviously i can't really go in right here because he's got the mega knight so definitely a terrible start wow i really don't understand how that connects um i'm gonna go expo here i know this is aggressive but he has the mega knight on top of that and then oh he's not gonna what is he doing i can go no bro oh my timing is so bad 
Okay, Skelly should help me defend. I do get some decent damage here. I'm gonna predict something like Spear Goblins or something. Okay, that was a bad log. Um, you know what? We're back in the game. I'm not sure why he didn't just Mega Knight low. I didn't really have anything for it. Um, I mean, I had Knight, but he probably could have still defended. I don't know. Maybe that was the right play by him. I'm just gonna go for the Tesla like this and the Knight in the back. And then, oh my gosh, dude, chill, bro. Holy cow. He just dumped a, a, an actual, like, bucket of Elixir on that lane. I mean, I guess. He got some damage, but that was probably not worth it at all from him. Um, he might go drill again. I've got my Tesla in cycle. If he does, yeah, this is where things are going to get a little bit difficult for me. I basically need to defend for my life until I can get back to a situation where I have any opportunity to go for an offensive play. Um, right now, I'm definitely not in one of those situations. So I'm going to go for the tornado like this. He does scale or he does uh, arrows, which kind of sucks. I think now is probably my best chance to go offensive bow. I'm going to go in the middle, actually, and then I'm going to let those wall breakers connect. I know this is weird and, and aggressive, but I think it's the right play. I can go knight down low. Um, he'll probably kill this expo without any trouble, but I can. Ooh, evil testo log. Maybe get a, a small connection. That would be huge. Nice. So that was perfect. Really good patience right there. I didn't try and force the lock. I let the wall breakers connect on my expo. Knew it wasn't going to be the end of the world. Um, and I can just go off into bow again here. He's going to go for the Mega Knight, but I've got... Oh, he's dead. Uh, or maybe I'm dead. Actually, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> we might both be dead or something. I just was on top of this. I'm going to log late. I think he's dead. No, he's dead. There's no way. He gets a Mega Knight down right now, and he just spent, like, his entire life savings. Yeah, that, that's game, pretty much. Um, he could go arrows, but I think... Yeah, no, I can get my Knight down for that Mega Knight, and then he doesn't have Zap in this deck. At least he hasn't played it yet, so that's going to be GG's. I'm not sure what just happened. He spammed a little bit too hard, I think. He should have focused more on defense, and he would have probably won that game because he got a good start. But yeah, we'll take that. Another easy win right there. Okay, Sparky in the back first play. Nah, I actually just got starting handed, bro. I have to rocket this still. No, I think I'm losing the game. This is okay. So a lot of a lot of people ask me what I mean when I say like being in a bad cycle. Um, that's a perfect example right there. He Sparky's first play, and I don't have my rocket till the seventh card. So now I believe I just lost this game. Um, right. So I need to tornado this, and then Skellies. I mean, I'm not gonna die completely, but that's just a ton of damage at the beginning of the game. That you never want to take. It is what it is, bro. I can't control the starting hand cycle, but that definitely pissed me off. Oh, I had a question, though. Um, so, basically, I'm curious. I know I asked this a long time ago on my channel, but I wanted to ask it again because, obviously, there's a lot of new people um, and, and whatnot. So, I just wanted to ask, do you guys prefer, like, what length of videos do you guys like? I obviously am going to change it up every single day. It's going to be not the same length. Sometimes I'll do, like, super long videos. Sometimes I'll do shorter videos. Um, but what's, like, a good average length? For me, I think... In my opinion, like 20 to 25 minutes, I feel like it's a perfect video length. But I don't know. It's really, you know, I'm up for anything. Like, I can do whatever you guys want. I might even make a, a post or something that's asked that question. But, yeah, I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are. So feel free to leave a comment What on which one you prefer. You don't have to say, like, anything too crazy. Just, like, why you prefer it, maybe. That would help me understand why people uh, like specific lengths of videos and stuff and whatnot. So I'm just going to go for the Tornado to pull back the minions. He does have the Evolved Goblin Giant, which that thing looks massive, bro. Um, I'm just gonna go skeletons like this. It's gonna kill the Evo Goblin Giants. And then, you know what? Honestly, for how bad of a start that was, um, with the Sparky in the back first play shenanigans, I will say we are in a decent situation. And, ooh, I thought that was gonna splash tower. Low key, next season, that Ice Fist is splashing tower, guys. Next season, when it gets the buff, that Ice Fist would hit tower right there. So, you know, we've got something to look forward to. And I know a ton of you are actually playing Ice Bow that watch my videos. Um, obviously, you know, it makes sense, right? But I didn't really think people actually played it until I've gotten so many comments that with people saying, oh, I pushed from this to this with Ice Bow. Thanks for making the videos, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and it's like, bro, that actually that actually makes me feel good because I'm helping people actually push in this game. And that's kind of a one of, I mean, not necessarily a goal of mine, but like, you know, I want to be helpful in any way I can, right? So I'm just going to go Knight like this, and then I'm going to Tornado this. It's kind of aggressive, but I think we have enough setup on the map already that I can afford to make some aggressive plays. So I'm going to go for a second Tesla, and then probably Log once the Spear Goblins uh, pop out from the Goblin Giants. And then I think he's going to Rage Shield to go Skellies to block the first hit. Then he's going to go Arrows. Nice, we're going to get a small connection here. It's all about, in this matchup specifically, it's all about getting that tiny lock. And now I could, if I wanted to be cringy, um, I could defend the rest of the game. But I honestly think, okay, <laughs> I mean, wait, this could get a little awkward. I don't have anything in cycle. I have to tornado this back. Holy cow, this might get awkward. I need to scale these to block that. No! Okay, it didn't kill my Ice Wiz. I thought it would for a second. That Mother Witch. Holy cow, what is happening, bro? I don't like this at all. Hopefully that Sparky dies. Kill it. Oh my gosh, that was close. And what is that? I think he thought the Sparky was going to shoot. That's kind of unfortunate from him. Um, 
because now I can just expo and he's dead. Even though he pre-Sparkies or whatever, um, that Evo Test is going to pop up. That's so broken. Oh, that's so good against Sparky, dude. Um, rip Sparky, bro. Rip Sparky. I'm not sad that it's gone, but, you know, I'll pay it its respect. Because, <laughs> like, dude, Sparky decks are just so cooked in, in the game at the moment with how many different broken cards there are and how easy it is to defend a Sparky by itself. So I'm just going to rock it to finish off the game. And you know what? We turned a game that started off bad from the starting hand, me not having a rocket, into a game where I was easily winning at the end. So I'll definitely take that. Okay, gonna go for one more match. We are up against Friend who, If you guys, bro, he's, he's starting to become like the person that I just randomly face in every single video. And he always hits King Laugh Emote, bro. I guarantee you, if I unmute right now, he's gonna be hitting King Laugh Emote. But I'm gonna wait till the end of the game so you guys can believe me, bro. I swear, I swear to you, he hits the King Laugh Emote the whole game. Anytime I unmute, he ha, he ha. It's actually impressive, bro. So I'm just gonna go for the rocket on top of this Inferno Dragon and Lava Hounds. Um, kind of had two my side was a little bit awkward but it's fine i can just go tesla if he voids the tesla i can activate my king tower so he's kind of a up a creek with no paddle if you know what i'm saying so that's gonna be fine tesla is gonna die out uh which is fine i can just go ahead and let this ice whiz do its thing um so we know he's deck he's got the valkyrie he's got the skeleton dragons this is the most popular pretty much the only lava hound deck i'm seeing at all in the meta right now um is this specific version i guess maybe void plus evo zap combination is pretty dang good together so i'm just gonna cycle my knight hmm what does he do actually might just go for scaly drags or his valk okay he's gonna valk i can just go for my skellies and then log the valkyrie and see what he does if he lavas i'll just expo the left lane it's kind of that simple i might just hover the expo in case he does yeah he plays he plays the game i'm like i've played him enough times to know exactly what he's gonna do he's gonna i drag yep and i can just go ice was down low and i think i get the good or the better of this trade right here he doesn't have his evolved zap and cycle right or am i stupid i think he's one card away so I don't really have to worry about that right now. I'm just going to let the Ice Wiz do its thing. It's going to kill the entire Eye Dragon and then start working on this Lava Hounds. I have my Tesla as well. If he does go for the Void on the Ice Wiz or anything in this situation. Yeah, he's going to go for the Void on the Ice Wiz. I can just Tesla like this. Yeah, I didn't want to play it high because I want it to be able to kill everything. I should have put it one more tile higher though, looking back at it now. Um, it shouldn't matter that much. Skellies will hold us back. That one pup on my tower does hurt, but it's all good um that that tesla is going to be perfect to kill the skeleton dragon and not allow any other damage so we're chilling i'm just going to go ice whiz in the back like this how did that guard get a hit by the way i just got scammed it's fine um i'm gonna evo tesla this is aggressive but i know he's going to try and force a lava hound at some point here so i'm just gonna knight if he lava hounds it's fine okay um lava hounding into an already pre-placed ice whiz and evo tesla is a little crazy but i guess i'm gonna go tesla again to snipe this eye drag and yeah we basically just gotta keep cycling this is gonna be a tough match to win i have to play pretty well um from this situation if i do want to win this game so i'm just gonna go for the knight to block for my tesla he does evo zap dang these spells are starting to build up on my tower as well which kind of sucks i'm just gonna go for the log to cycle and then go ice whiz in the back once again he's gonna go lava hound the bridge i'm gonna predict it actually and go expo on the right hand lane please lava please lava he did lava okay nice so this is my chance to do something on offense he goes for the guards whoa this is my chance bro this is actually my chance um no we avoid that okay that's aggressive but i think it might actually i've got to be patient here and wait for this eye drag to lock on then go for the tornado and then i can go for the ice whiz once these lava pups get active um nice okay really good timing on everything right there i easily could have lost the game and panicked but Ooh, deep breath rocket on this right hand side for the balloon and i think we are chilling things got a little bit dicey but good defense overall and also that expo prediction pretty much secured me having a chance of winning this game i'm not gonna go expo because he's probably gonna he's gonna lava hound here it's it's not gonna be that difficult to figure out yeah um evo tesla like this to hopefully defense and then i can go skellies to block for the eye drags first couple beams and then ice was like this just in case he voids he does go for the valkyrie on top i should have logged the tower and then knighted i'm stupid okay it's fine though it doesn't matter that much ice was this one hp look at that knight it might get a shot on tower no way oh my gosh dude knight let's go he's gonna lava the middle i 100 guarantee he's gonna lava the middle yep 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 here it is here it is yep i knew it bro he's so predictable okay ice was like this i can go for the expo on the right hand side and then he has to be forced to defend it with a valk and probably avoid too if he doesn't void he loses so i think he has to avoid the expo yep perfect now i can go for my tesla without any repercussions I I can go for the skellies to block for the pups that are going to come up actually never mind that that valkyrie still has hp somehow so that's going to kill everything i can just go ahead and go expo while he lava hounds maybe this is aggressive yeah this is pretty aggressive he's going to valkyrie but i can go evo tesla to kill everything and then go knight to tank ice was again here to kill that skeleton dragon um did i just throw i might have just thrown this game maybe no i think we're fine 
Um, I just need to tornado everything back and then go for a late rocket. I think we're fine, bro. This got a little sketchy. No, we're good. We're good. What a defense. Things keep getting dicey. I should have probably just defended and not tried to go for the prediction expo right there on the right hand side, but he does predict my Tesla. Good, good prediction by him. I can just go ice boost right on top of this and only 10 seconds left. If I throw this, like, you know, there's no chance I can, right? Even if I tried to throw at this point, there's no way I can. So I'm just going to log. Somehow we got more damage on this left hand tower and I guarantee you he's king laughing. Please king laugh, please. Yes, I knew it, bro. I knew he was king laugh. <laughs> bro, this guy's actually my new, uh, you know, my new meme in my videos. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.